Hi guys, this is Lena from Way to Good Life Kids. Welcome back to our channel and my car because guess what? That's why I leave most of the time. And today on top of it, I'm having a bad hair day. Just because the, nobody invented in my house any kind of a hair styling products apparently. Anyway, that is not why I wanted to go on today. I wanted to talk to you about something really, really important uh, called financial education for our children. Boring. No, not actually not boring at all because we, the parents, need to make sure that our children know what to do with the money uh, by the time they leave house. And the earlier we start, the better off they are and we are. Because you know what? Once your kid is out of your house, racking up credit card debt, what are you gonna do? You cannot just, you know, lock them in a the room, take away their computer. Anyway, that's why today I wanted to talk a little bit about financial books for kids. I think I've seen a book that is as for kids as early as like two or three years old, which they might not understand a lot, but that's a start, that's a really good start. And as you know, kids grow older, they can take more complex books. So we just recently published a video about books about money for kids on waytogoodlife.com. And so let's just jump in really quickly and take a look at some of the books, not all of them, just some of them uh, that you can share with your kids. And absolutely in the description down below, you will see the email I'm sorry, no, you will see the um, the URL that will take you to that post with the links to all of these books. I know, I know, I know, the kids have a lot of homework to do, but guess what? You do not want your kid to overspend and go all crazy, you do not want to have meltdowns, and surprisingly enough, you can actually start giving them that book education about money at relatively early age but you will see it from the books. There is plenty of books. I don't know if we'll cover them all, but uh, don't forget that you there is a link in the description. Just click on it and you'll get all the information you need on these books. Okay, Everything Kids Money Book. Okay, this is on, way on here. We actually, we're on Amazon and it's, it's uh, this is a great book we did check it out from the library okay can you show us something okay so it's actually this book is broken down really well it talks about the story of money the change the paper money banks paydays it talks about different aspects of money that we might not always you know be comfortable talking about with the children and it's nicely packaged and designed for well it's 163 pages but i think it's a really great one for the kids to check out the next one is the kids money book earning saving spending investing and donating okay this is going back to separating money it's going back to separating money and figuring out what you know how to allocate the money we have into all these different categories it does not have a preview but it seems like a really good one it's for it's designed for kids 8 to 12 when the kids generally start getting allowance on start making possibly money for doing some activities you know around house possibly if you do that so it's for grades around as early as a third grader can start understanding how to separate money next one okay this is is clearly for the little kids one cent two cents old cent new cent all about money and this one is is with the characters that everybody loves look at that great pictures great rhymes and it has really good approach it has a really good angle that little kids can understand so this one is designed for kids hey preschool as early as a four-year-old can actually start getting an understanding how books 
how money works and what happens to the money. Okay, that's another one for the little kids. The Bernstein bears trouble with money. Who does not love Bernstein bears? They are adorable. And this one is, okay, it does not say it, but realistically, you know, your average, let's see. I'm sure your average four and five year old can be, can easily read, well, read this book with you. Oh my God, yes. This is also great for anybody who is just learning to read very great pictures limited amount of information a great book to get for the little kids okay alexander who used to be rich last sunday okay this is a kindle book alexander has bus tokens okay this one is i don't really know what age it is for and i'm still yet to check this one out but it's a kindle book so keep that in mind it's definitely designed for okay so still for uh, younger kids with the limited amount of you know writing a lot of pictures i don't know about your kids my kids are all about pictures and it actually gives you a very quick and easy understanding what happens when you spend the money follow the money okay this is gotta be a good one um this book, it doesn't have the preview here, but it's, again, it has a story of, of, of a child who's trying to understand, make a sense out of, of money. Okay, it's for kids four to eight, kindergarten through third grade, and it could be another great one that would actually, will give kids a very easy understanding of the concept of money. Next book, my first money book. And it's a guide for parents and children to saving, spending, sharing, and investing your money. Okay, that's for the children, remember? Let's see how easy it is to read. Okay, again, breaking down by saving, spending, sh sharing, and investing. There is no donating here, but sharing probably will cover that. Okay, the money tree. I want to have one. Okay, once again, perfect for little kids. Yeah, and okay, it's designed for, uh, yeah, I'd say easily, you know, preschool, kindergarten probably would be a perfect age for this book. Growing Money, a complete investing guide for kids. Okay, this is another book without preview. And uh, yes, it, okay, it it's designed for kids. Uh, this book is written for kids eight to twelve, so about third through seventh grade. And I don't know, I well, it has some really good reviews, but it unfortunately does not tell me much about it. Okay, easy. See, okay, the easy to understand the concept of saving account, but we're very curious about stocks and bonds. It encourage them to add. Okay, so it's actually, it seems like it's a well-rounded book that can give kids an understanding of what to do with their money. Okay, we are back to the book for little kids. A dollar, a penny, how much and how many? Math is categorical. Wow. These people know how to make money fun. I gotta say that. Okay, maybe it's not doing this for me today. Uh... Ooh, okay, what's going on? Oh my god. Okay, so this is great again for little kids, definitely. And it gives them oh, this is great for little kids who are actually I don't I'm I think it's a first grade when they're learning uh, pennies and dimes and nickels. Oh my god, my son had a hard time with that. National Geographic's Kids Everything Money, a wealth of facts, photos and fun. Okay, we had this book for, that we checked it out from the library. And this book has a lot of great information. It has a lot of uh, very random information about money in stories and how money really came to be and how what considered money in the olden time and how things progressed. It's actually a lot of um, just stories and facts around money. And I said, I 
would assume this is for slightly yeps, grades 3 to 7, so it's again for kids 8 to 12. The coin counting book. Okay, this one I'm assuming is for slightly older children, maybe. Oh no, I'm wrong. Another one for little kids. So guys, so if you uh, get this, the names, go to the library, see which ones your library has, because they probably will not have all of them. But this is another great one for, I want to say, probably first grade. That's where they actually do a lot of manipulations with nickels and dimes and counting and trying to make sense. Oh my God, this honestly would have been a great one. I'm a little bit, I'm trying to remember. I think it was, it was either first or second grade, but if you have a first or second grader, definitely check out this book. It will help them because they have to do a lot of ad additions of like coins. Oh, what is it going to be if you have like five dimes, three nickels, five pennies, stuff like that. So, do you think you kids have something new that they can learn from these books? <laughs> okay, until next time, in the car, see you here. You know exactly where to find me. Bye!